Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy for August 3rd, next new comic book day. I got a great video for you. There's some good books, so stay tuned. Welcome back. It is three o'clock in the morning. I've done shipped out everything for the weekend. Uh, got it all ready, and I've read through a bunch of books. The only ones I couldn't get to were diamond books, indies, and stuff like that. We'll talk about that in a minute. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like. It'll enter you into the giveaway. Uh, this giveaway is a good one tonight, uh, but all the ones that comment, like, and subscribe tonight will be entered in for the next week's giveaway. So, before we begin. I am just going to go right to cover buys. We're going to try to make this quick for you because there's some good books to talk about. And there are some great covers this week. We have Immortal X-Men, number five, the Adams variant. I really like that cover. Uh, Moon Knight, number 14, the Amazing Spider-Man one. That was really popular. Tales of Suspense, 57. That's a facsimile edition. I'm putting it as a cover buy, but it's actually the first appearance of Hawkeye inside. Um... DC Vampires number 8, the Zerdy cover. There's so many covers. It's, it's crazy. So I didn't include them all. Harley Quinn 18. You have the Homage cover, which is great. Uh, and Poison Ivy number 3, the Middleton cover. Good to see Middleton back. And the Art Germ cover. And, uh, of course, 8 Billion Genies number 1, second print. That's hot right now. You know, whatever. Okay. So before we do the top 10, I want to talk about four new number ones very quickly. They're not here. They come in the diamond shipment, but I expect good things for some of these. So Dead Lucky number one, San Francisco is changing. Tech Consortium Morrow is building the city of the future with peacemaker robots looming on every corner and wherever Morrow isn't. The Salvation Gang is. Uh, Bib... Bibiana Lopez Yang is changing too. She came back from Afghanistan with PTSD and the ability to control electrical currents. Okay. Golden Rage, number one. It's like another world story where <laughs> older women who've been deemed useless to society are abandoned on an island. Golden Rage documents their golden years of making friends, baking dessert, and fighting to the death. It could be funny. It's AWA. Sacrament number one. So basically, the exorcist meets alien. In the year 3000, mankind abandoned Earth and fled into outer space. Now a disgraced priest called into action to perform an exorcism on a remote space colony is about, about to discover that no matter how far you run, you can't escape your demons. And the devil is, in fact, real. And Survival Street number one. I like this Dewey cover the best because it's like a Sesame Street thing. Uh, it's a action satire tearing through a dystopia packed with economic and humanistic cautionary tales. After an unbridled wave of corporations take over the states or America, the country is left completely deregulated and effectively carved up into feudal states where billionaires and businesses make their own laws. Uh, it sounds kind of interesting. Okay. All right. Let's get right to it. The top 10. Number 10, we have Thor number 26, the second printing cover. I love that. Uh, but here is the 1 in 25 of it. I hope that's, that reflection is okay. The 1 in 25 of that cover. I just want to show it to you. Number 9 is Batman World's Finest number 4, second printing. It, it looks exactly like the other one. Here is the 1 in 25 foil, though. And, of course, that was a key. I think the other one's a key, too. This is the mix of Batman and Superman. This is a foil. Really cool looking. Okay. Which is a 1 in 25. Number 8. Starting to break down some books here. Iron Man number 22 Vega. After number 7 with Switchback, I think it was his name or something like that. Appearance, I was hoping for the best. But this story is kind of slow. Iron Man gets sprayed with a shit called Compound 13. He goes to the hospital. He gets out, and he's going on. It basically, it, this was a cover by, first of all, like a stealth suit. 
But the last page shows him jumping out of a plane in like a stealth suit. Okay, so whatever. I put it at number eight. All right. Number seven is... Now, now, keep in mind, a lot of books got pushed. Predator, there's some other books that got pushed. So I feel like where are these books? They got pushed. Number seven is Flashpoint Beyond number four. When they talk about first appearance of Dexter Dent and all that, no, he's in the other books. You just, and I think he goes and he steals like Robin's suit, right? And he escapes. And uh, he's actually Dexter Dent, but he takes Robin's little, takes Robin's, I think it's Robin's suit, I don't know. And he goes to get his mom, Harvey Dent's mom, right? And he goes and like, she's been talking to someone else and then it shows like the female Joker or Joker's daughter or whatever if this world, it might be the Joker's a female in this way. I don't know. It's all, this the story's all over the place on that. So I don't know if that's a first appearance, but that cover's pretty sick. I mean, they call him whatever Dent, so you know who it is now, but he's in the other issues. Okay. Number six is Demon War. I, I, yeah, I put this in here. Number six is Demon Wars Iron Samurai number one. This is the, I think this is the Yago one variant. I'm not sure. I really like that cover. But, you know, it's anime inside. It's a quick read. But there are a crap load of characters. I don't know if it's going to take off or not. It's kind of like. A little bit, a little bit yeah, younger, younger read, uh, but they introduced like I've, I've wrote down all the names I saw in this book. I <laughs> Kaigan Dushi, I don't know Yamato, I think he already exists. Oami Bakyoro Hayabusha Ibo. I mean, there are a bunch of new things. Basically, what's her name? Mariko goes through like a portal and goes into this world and blah, blah, blah. Whatever for you anime people and first appearances. Okay. So what number was that? Let's see what this is. Okay. Number five, Spider-Man 2099 Exodus number five. Here's the frame variant. First appearance of the X-Men of 2099. I mean, that's the only reason I've really put it in here. I'll hold it for a second so you can see them all over here where my thingy is. But there they are, the new team. They all have like new outfits and shit. There's Deadpools in there. A bunch of other p people, but you know, for the key factor, I put it at number five. All right. We're going to start getting to the heat, though, because it's starting to get good. Okay. Number four, Batman, White Knight, Red Hood, number one. It's it's almost like it's for teenagers. Uh, Robin's talking about, they start off with Robin giving away the identity to the Joker of Batman instead of the Joker killing him right after he gave up Batman's identity he lets him go because he knows he's gonna suffer and then you meet Gant like he's like drinking he's drunk all the time now Robin this is in the future and you meet Gant who is a street Robin chick okay and she rides a bicycle um, I don't know. He eventually decides that he's going to teach her. Um, and it's a little childish, but in regard to Robin and stuff like that, a new Robin, a Robin's Robin. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Okay. Top three are really good. So hang on. I want to do the giveaway right now. So I'm letting it go right here. Again, all you have to do is subscribe. By the way. Check out my top 10 pre-order uh, video for this week. There's some pretty good ones. Um, some great books. 
and you might want to get some pre-order before it's too late. You have Sunday night for DC and all the rest are available till Monday night. Okay, so the winner is Tomb. Dude, you're getting a special death dealer. This is an exclusive limited to 600 from the Frazetta Girls. I s Look, the truth is, I was going to give away something else today. But when I saw it, I wanted to switch it up a little bit because I got some free stuff from um, another from Black Box Comics, some Ninja Cadence. But you were talking about this, and I still had some more, and I wanted to switch it up. But I'm going to go ahead and give this to you because you were talking about Death Dealer. Congratulations. To make sure to message me on Instagram or through my store so you can get this. This is sick, and it ain't cheap. Thank you for Zeta Girls. Okay. Remember, do all those things, comment, all that, get entered in the next week. Number three. Here we go. Okay. Dark Crisis, number three. Now, first of all, no one's talking about this. I, I talked about this a month ago, this cover. Okay? First appearance of Red Canary on the cover to find out. Okay? So I was hoping she'd be in the book, but we'll get to that. These random cover G's and H's for instance the Black Adam one um, and the bat the failsafe one and all those things are sneaky and I mean we all knew about this I think this cover is going to be hot anyway this story is dope but before we continue and this is probably the reason it's my top 10 right at the beginning that little piece right there I think that's her okay Red Canary, so cameo, like not even, I mean, just one little panel. She doesn't say her name or anything. She's not in the book at all, so make sure to take a look at number four. Um, basically, the story goes like this. They just got their ass whipped by Deathstroke's army and stuff, the new Justice League, because all the other Justice League's dead. And Black Adam's like, look, we have to kill them. We have to kill them. That's our only choice is to kill them. And they're all fighting. No, we're not going to kill them. We're not going to kill them. Blah, 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 blah. And he's like, well, forget this. I'm out of here. Um, then he takes off and the Justice Society shows up to team up. Coming out of the blue. Um, and he Black Adam goes and makes a deal with the Legion of Doom. So there's also some stuff going on with Green Lantern. The Lantern Corps too, like going to the world trying to think it's like the black lantern ring or something i don't know some other stuff going on there but they're discussing talking about killing starting to kill people uh the bad guys because deathstroke and his people are going through time holes fighting hurting people almost killing people or killing people and then leaving through the time hole and they can't do anything about it it's a really good read and that cover's sick that's a hot cover Number two, I have Edge of Spider-Verse number one. Now, okay. The story's kind of goofy, guys, uh, but it's Spider-Verse. So there's going to be first appearances in all these books, and I suggest picking them up because Spider-Verse is hot. So the first dude we get is this dude. I mean, he's like a Scottish dude. Um... So his name's Spider Laird. Uh, Arana gets... She's rolling in the black suit right now. Something happens. She's getting some new powers. She ends up getting hooked up with a new suit. Uh, let me sh show that to you real fast. So she gets a new suit. Which is basically the one on the cover, I think. And then also, I think there's a first appearance of this chick named Delia, who's part of the Sisterhood of Wasp. And then you have these separate stories in the back with um, Spider Rex. I don't know why I don't feel like it's a first appearance, but I mean, he's in there and he's fighting like the Green Goblin Rex or some shit. It's stupid. And then you have a, a Black Noir or Spider Man Noir story also. Um, I just wanted to point out um, real quick in, that was number two, in all the DC this week, uh, most of it, well, I'll, I'll show you here in the end. 
there's a couple things that are kind of cool. Okay, that was number two. Number one is Batman again. I don't care what anyone says. If they say Batman sucked, maybe they don't like comics. It's good. When I was a kid, these are the type of comics I loved. The art in here is amazing. This is that secret fail-safe cover. We all knew fail-safe was going to be on there. Um, but it's good. So, dude, it it starts off in the first issue, right? In Batman 125, Robin gets shot in the head or something. He's fine now. It starts off with him just being totally fine, which is kind of weird. They don't explain what happened. And then, dude, immediately, fail-safe comes in. And, dude, almost a th half of the book or more, Failsafe is kicking Batman's ass, dude. And everyone's ass. Like, Batman's almost dead. And he is doing everything he can to get away from Failsafe. He can't get away. So then, like, Nightwing and all these other dudes come. And, and they're um, trying to interrupt it. Failsafe is going crazy. He's just on a mission. Now, Batman's kind of hint, hinting on knowing what's going on. Robin gets him back to the Batcave. And, and Batman goes into this, like, room, and he pulls out. It looks to me like a super old costume or a new costume. So get ready for Batman uh, 127. Shit's going down in the in this book. With Jorge Mena's art, dude, and Chip Zdarsky writing, this is so good, and that's why it's on my number one. Now, also... If you remember, Penguin committed suicide and everyone's, the Catwoman was tasked to go find um, the heirs, right? So she goes to one of the heirs of the Penguin and someone's like trying to kill him, puts him in a coma, right? Um, and she can't stop him. Later, she goes back to the executor and says, he says, well, that looks like it's it. He's like, Looks like there's no more heirs. Like they skipped all the other children that were supposedly out there. And she was saying, well, let me find the moms. Anyway, all of a sudden, these two show up. Okay? And those two are... What's her names? Addison and Aiden Coddlepot. Okay? Now, she, she like she touches the hand of the Aid, Addison... She realizes that's the one that was strangling one of his other brothers. So, basically, those two killed off the rest of the siblings, apparently. And they weren't on the list, but they have, like, blood proof and stuff. So, she's going to go investigate that. Um, I, I just, I'm really enjoying Batman right now. I don't know what to tell you. But I wanted to talk about one more thing before we go. Um, and in a lot of these books... This week, there are, tr you know, you always see the George Press stuff, but they're doing tributes to Neil Adams now in here. And there's a bunch of little uh, artists and writers talking about Neil. I mean, you got Roy Thomas, Frank Miller. Dude, a lot of artists are talking about Neil and said, without Neil, you know, DC wouldn't, wear, wouldn't, wouldn't be where it is. So that's really nice to see. I mean, it's really sad. I had that... Uh, I've been able to see all my favorite art, uh, artists and writers in the last 15 years of Comic-Cons, and I've been watching them pass, and usually it goes in twos and threes. In a year, they just go. So, you know, if you haven't had your chance to do, go see one of them. I suggest, and you want to, go to a Comic-Con and see these guys, talk to them. You know, Royce, there's still a lot of people still left, um, and but the, the originators, they're disappearing, so... I wanted to say thanks again for watching. Congratulations, Tomb. Make sure to contact me. There's a lot of great books this week. I, I, I'm on Batman, full-fledged, guys. And, of course, Edge of Spider-Verse for the new appearances. And Dark Crisis is really good. Check out my top 10 FOC video now if you haven't already. I really advise it because of stuff like this, you know, that we're looking at now. We looked at it a month ago. And they're going to heat up. Stuff like that's going to heat up. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next week's top 10 new comic days stuff. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> see you later.